Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today is a very important video for people that need to uh, manually add transactions. So I will be following this article um, and I will leave a link down below if you're interested in reading the full thing. Um, but I will basically show you guys how to manually add transactions into Coinly. Okay, for starters, I should say that we recommend that you import your transactions using either the auto sync API method or the CSV Excel file. Uh, method that you have downloaded from the exchange itself. If however, for some reason this is not possible, you have two other options. So one is to create a custom CSV file with your transactions. This is ideal if you have uh, if you have a lot of transactions. I have made a video about this. I will also leave that in the top right corner right now and I will leave this document in the description. The other option is to add transactions manually via Coinly. This is only when you have a handful of transactions. This is probably not ideal if you have lots of transactions. Okay, so in this video, I will show you, uh, I, will, I will make it, you know, I'll do it on my account. I will show you how to add uh, a deposit or withdrawal, and then I will show you how to add a trade. Okay, so we're gonna go to the transactions page on Coinly. We're gonna click add transaction. We're gonna click deposit. And here we will set a date. Uh, the date has to be in UTC. We'll say May the 4th at um, let's say 11 o'clock, click OK. We will select the wallet. For my example, I will use Binance. The coin will be a Ripple. So we're gonna find a Ripple and the number of coins will be 1000. We're gonna click save. And now the transaction, as you can see, has been added. Okay, the next step is to show you how to do a trade or how to add a trade on Coinly. So once again, transactions page, add transaction trade. Um, once again, we're going to select a time, let's say May the 5th this time, also at 11, click OK. Then we're going to select the sent uh, wallet. This will be um, Binance. Then we're going to select the currency. We can say Ripple, um, Ripple, so 1000 coins. And then we can select the received wallet. So uh, we can say Binance and we receive, I don't know, let's say Litecoin. Uh, Litecoin five. So we have sent five. Uh, we have sent X uh, 1000 XRP and received five Litecoin. That is the trade we're making. We're gonna click select or save, and that transaction is now being added. Okay, so that's how you add a deposit or withdrawal and a trade. So some questions, you know, you might have which. Uh, transaction type should I select? So for incoming transactions, aka deposits, airdrops, forks, income reward, etc., select a deposit and change the transaction type to classify it as something else if necessary. Uh, enter the date and time of the transaction along with the coin symbol and the number of coins received. So this is just a summary of what I showed you guys. So for outgoing transactions, withdrawals, costs, gifts, donations, etc., select withdrawal and change the transaction type to classify it as something else if necessary. Enter the date and time of the transaction along with the coin symbol and the number of coins sent. Okay, for trades, for buys and sells, if you're purchasing crypto using fiat, then you have to uh, then you have the option to choose between a deposit or trade. The difference is that if you choose a deposit, you will need uh, set to set the worth uh, to the fiat amount you paid for it. And if you add the trade, you will need to set the sent currency slash amount to the fiat amount. Both of these methods methods will result in the exact same um, tax report. If you are selling crypto um, for fiat, then you have to then you have the option to choose between withdrawal and a trade. For withdrawals, just set the worth to the fiat amount you received for your crypto. And then if you prefer a trade, you will need to enter uh, the fiat amount in the received uh, currency slash amount field. Both of these methods will once again result in the same tax report. And lastly, for crypto to crypto, just trade uh, and enter the traded values. Optionally, you can set the uh, worth of the value of the coins on the date of the transactions. Leave it blank to use the market price fetched by Coinly automatically. And lastly, for transactions between your own wallets, we don't recommend adding transfers manually as it can result in double entries if one of your wallets already has a deposit or withdrawal entry for it. Uh, instead, you should look for an existing deposit slash, slash withdrawal in Coinly and change it to a transfer. And I will leave this article down below that explains how Coinly 
handles transfers. And there you have a pretty straightforward video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. We'll try our best to get back to you. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.